What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. My name is Gregson. This is Hanson. This is Shifting Lanes. We have been driving around the beautiful back roads of New Jersey and we have an Alfa Romeo 4C in our possession. And driving this together, we have come up with five things that we really love about this car. So let's hit it. Let's get started. So the first thing we love about the Alfa Romeo 4C is the power. has a 1.75 liter turbocharged engine making 237 horsepower at the flywheel. Say power? Power. <laughs> yes, it's incredible. <laughs> and the power to weight ratio is just tremendous. Uh, 237 horsepower doesn't sound like much, but when you're on back roads, <laughs> and you it's have, plenty. And you have no weight at all in the car. <laughs> it's 2,465 pounds. Yeah. That's it. You'll definitely run out of talent before you run out of car. Yeah. The power in this, it's uh, I guess a really good word for it is, and I will put a, a dollar or a British pound in the, in, the, in the jar. It's intoxicating. Yeah. I guess that's a good Alfa Romeo word to use. It is intoxicating. You, 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 you want to put your foot down a lot in this car. And yeah. the nice thing is you put your foot down in this car and you're not gone like a McLaren. You, you can actually use the power and approach yeah. the power on a back road, which yeah. is cool. Again, yeah, at the price point, you know, this is power to the masses almost. Again, this, at, this is at $55,000. This is basically a budget Ferrari, <laughs> a oh. budget McLaren. Oh. And so good. The, the, the feeling is just exhilarating. <laughs> so yes, first thing, power. Love the power, power is great. Second thing we love about this car is the handling. You have a mid-engined sports car with no power steering at all. We're on a straightaway, which kind of blows, but the handling of this car, I can't really show it to you right now. The handling of this car is absolutely phenomenal. You feel like you have uh, a third sense for the road, <laughs> where you are on the road, and how this thing grips, and how this thing is planted, and where the grip is, and where the car is at all times. The handling is second to none at the price point, yeah. but second to none for anything I've personally driven. Yeah. It feels wonderful. The road feedback in the in the wheel is perfect. Yeah. You feel every bump, but not to the point where you're like, I don't want to drive this. It's damped well. There's really not, there, there's honestly no real negatives I can say yeah. about the handling of this car. You know, you have the double wishbone suspension, which is, that's like, race car suspension technology oh, yeah. is not your traditional McPherson strut so again when it's moving up and down within the suspension travel you're getting better contact with the road and you feel that again to your point about there's no damping so because there's no damping you feel every vibration you feel every bump you feel every grate that you go over and that's just communication yeah. just like anything in life communication is key <laughs> And this That's car right. will tell you everything that it's feeling. Yes, you can drive this car with your keister. Point number three why this car is awesome, the ergonomics. It's fantastic. The seats, the steering wheel, it's really well made. It's nice to the touch. You've got nice leathers, nice microfiber. The seats, even though it's very thin, again, that adds to the the communication to your butt, but it feels nice. The, the microfiber everywhere is really is really well put together. Yeah. Um, the, the steering wheel, it's compact, it's D-shaped. Um, the, the overall shape could be slightly better, but just holding it, you just want to keep shifting, you just want to keep turning the wheel. It's fantastic. Yeah, I agree. I think that the way this car is laid out, uh, both in the interior and the exterior, uh, ergonomically is pretty spot on. Uh, I don't think that there's a bad uh, angle on this car from an aesthetics point of view. Yeah. Uh, 
I, I love the seating position. The seating position is great. I like personally to feel like a pilot when I'm in a car. Uh, I feel like I am commanding something to do my bidding, yeah. which is awesome. And part of that has to do with the seating position. Yeah. You can have a sports car, you can have a really crummy seating position and that ruins the experience for you. This one is spot on, love it. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't speak highly enough of how this car is laid out. The interior is great. Um, I'm a small guy, you're a small guy, we're short guys. We feel very comfortable in this smaller kind of compact co cabin yeah. and uh, it really does just feel like a cockpit. So if you're a six foot guy and you've been in an Alfa Romeo 4C, let us know how you feel. Yeah, because, leave uh, it in the comments. It, it might be totally different for you tall guys. Point numero quattro, why we like this car. And I think this one's kind of obvious, the looks. Oh yes. It is staggeringly gorgeous. <laughs> I uh, feel like we're kind of becoming in love with this car. I, I'm, I've only been driving it for an hour. I'm kind of, you know, falling in love with this car. And yeah. part of that is the looks of it. Uh, there, there isn't a bad angle on this yeah. car. You exactly. go outside, you take some pictures, it, you, you could literally drive it into a mud puddle and it would still look just phenomenal. Yeah. I think that what you're, what you're buying is, the, part of what you're buying is the looks. Yeah. And, I mean, it's it's just beautiful. Yeah. It's just a beautiful car. And There's some panel really gaps well here and there, but again, just look at it. It's beautiful. And you know, if you if you're a big fan of Jeremy Clarkson and the Grand Tour, uh, he mentioned you could basically just talk about it, talk and talk and talk about the 4C, and you'll find faults with it. But when you shut up and you just look at it, you're just gonna fall in love. That's right. And I think we're smitten. It's rare you don't really see it on the road so if you want to get noticed this is probably the best car that you could buy for the price yeah, yeah. totally agree yes the Alfa Romeo 4C is a fantastic car. It's the intangibles. It's the things that you don't really see on paper or see in front of you. It's the experience. It's something that you can't really put a dollar figure to because driving this car is just, you feel pure joy. You yeah. feel truly connected to the car and there's just something about it you just feel good. Right. Every time you walk up to it, get in the car, you feel your heart race just because it looks so gorgeous. impact this car kind of has on you it makes you fall in love with it it forces you to fall in love with it really quick yeah and what you do is you start you get in you feel the lowness of it you see the big fenders on either side you know you're in a sports car you know you're in something a little bit special you start to kind of get swept up in how this car is yeah. as an emotional <laughs> you know barrier yeah. <laughs> because you, this car is so out of reach for so many people, including us. So yeah. you, you you start to you know really want to better your life to, to, to be able to pay for this thing, and that comes into that emotion. You know, you're sad that you can't have it. Yeah. You're happy when you're driving it. You miss it when it's away, kind of thing. It just it does something to you. This is like in a, a really good way. This is like a cure for depression. I think it's this a is, really good cure for depression. Yeah, it's just you know fifty-five thousand dollars starting. 
So I'd rather spend my money on this than Zoloft, <laughs> that's for damn sure. And it's just something that unfortunately we can't show you. You just have to feel for yourself. So if you're lucky enough, just like we are today, to yeah. sit in an Alfa Romeo 4C, do it. Do yeah. it. Don't even think about what you're sitting in. Just enjoy the drive. Enjoy how you feel. Yeah. And in the end, that's really what being an automotive enthusiast really is right. about. And that's, what, that's what sports cars are about. Yeah. They're, they're, they're meant to evoke that emotion. Exactly. And this one does it in stride. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, Alpha. Yeah. Good job. Huge thumbs up. This car is pretty near close to perfection. <laughs> and I think that that's a good uh, a good point to wrap up on. Yeah. So, agreed. Yeah. Those are our five things and why we love this car. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Click the like button, click the follow button, click the little bell to get all of our videos in your email every time we get one. I'm Gregson, he's Hanson, thanks for watching, catch you next time.